Hi, and welcome to the second installment of our series on importing samples and aliquots into FreezerWorks. The first example, we uh, imported sample records and we created aliquots based on the number of aliquots for each sample. In this situation, in this example, we'll have a spreadsheet that will have the uh, freezer box location for every aliquot. So this is a record of uh, a spreadsheet of aliquots. And here's what we're going to be importing here. As you can see, we have, uh, again, we have 10 uh, sample records, but actually each one is one aliquot. So this is actually 10 aliquots, and uh, each has a uh, sample ID. But these sample IDs, for example, what we want to do here is we have three sample IDs, three aliquots with the sample ID 40,000, A1, A2, A3. We want to put these into one sample record. And here again, we have three sample IDs of 40,001, 40, and they rep each one represents one aliquot. So we want to put these three aliquots under another different sample ID. And then the other four here are all unique sample IDs. Now, FreezeWorks can do that. It will take the unique identifier, which we will call this number of sample ID here, and attach aliquots as needed. So let's go ahead and do that and show you how to do that. So first, what I want to do again is to save this Excel spreadsheet as a text or a text file of some sort. Uh, last time we did TXT tab delimited. Let's go with common delimited this time. Let's save it as a common delimited file. Okay, and these uh, warnings are okay. We just hit a yes. Everything's good. And now what I want to do next is find the freezer that I'm going to put this box into. I'm going to go to Explore Freezers, and I have a freezer over here called Demo Physical. And Demo Physical has two freezer uh, sections here, top shelf and shelves two through five. Top shelf has a subdivision rack and then the subdivision box. And each, then each box has rows and columns. So this is subdivision one, subdivision two, and then three and four. We are importing rows and columns. So we're going to import positions three and four into our freezer section top shelf. <clears throat> now we're bringing this box in. This spreadsheet that we are going to import represents a complete box. So we want to go ahead and import the box into this freezer. We can see that box one has a in this rack already has a box in there. Box 4 has a box, so that means that box 2 and box 3 don't show up here. That means that those positions are free in this rack A. So let's go ahead and import. We're going to import this box into box 2 of rack A. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to Sample Management, Import Data, and we'll create an import format for this. We'll call it Import 2. It has a header record. That first record in the uh, spreadsheet had the header. So we select that so that FreezeWorks doesn't try to import that first row. It's a common delimited file. The date format is the same as the first example, so we're good here. Don't have to worry about the time format. We don't, we're not importing a time field. Open the file. Let's find that low. Here it is. CSV, import samples with files and locations. Let's open it, and then FreezerWorks will try to map based on our file headers. Again, sample ID. There is a field in FreezerWorks called sample ID. I can go ahead and select that or change it. I'm going to, again, I'm going to change it as we did in the first example to sample ID import. So I highlight this, and I select sample ID import and map. So now sample ID will go into my sample ID import. Sample date. Going to sample date, that's good. I like that. Type, it did not find a type field. 
So we will go to aliquots because the type, again, the Buffy codes are going to be put into aliquot type. So I map type going into aliquot type. Patient ID going to patient ID, that's still good. Hospital going to the hospital, that's still good. I need to know where in the freezer I'm going to put the row and column. And again, we, as we showed, saw earlier, uh, we're going to go into positions three and four. This was a shelf and then the rack, or I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, rack and then the box, the row and the column, three and four row and column. So three goes here and four will go, whoops, three will go here and then four will go here. Okay. The mapping's done. Now I need to go to import settings to tell FreezerWorks what kind of import this is. And again, we are adding samples and aliquots actually to FreezerWorks. Now, how are we going to create the aliquots? We are going to create them this time using our interactive auto assign. That's where we select the freezer and tell it where to put the samples. So, you can see here that we will be prompted during the import for a freezer and a next sample position to which the aliquots will be assigned. No problem here. Let's go ahead and do that. We have uh, the unique identifier again is sample ID import, and that's where the sample IDs will go. So, let's save this format and let's go ahead and go back into it now and do the import. This is the file that we are importing. We need to select our freezer. And again, that was the demo physical. The freezer section, which was our top shelf. And we're going to ignore these uh, these grayed out areas. You don't have to worry about that. This is our the next assignable position in FreezeWorks, but we're going to go ahead and adjust it. We're going to go ahead and assign these again into box two. So this box is going to be box two in our top shelf freezer section starting at rack A. So these are grayed out. That's okay. It's going to go, FreezeWorks is going to go to start at box two and then assign the locations as the spreadsheet has it set up. So we select OK, writes the import data, and here is our imports complete. We have six samples created, 10 aliquots altogether in those six samples. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. We'll go ahead and view them by sample. And here are our six sample records that we've, that we've imported. I have a special list format that I want to use in this situation called importing that will help us look at this a little bit better. And we can see here that our first record, 4,000, our sample ID import, 4,000, has three aliquots in there. 4,001 has three aliquots, and those other four samples are one to one, one aliquot to one sample. Let's go ahead and take a look at these records as they got imported. Double click on the first one. And we can see here I have a special form I want to use for this import. Let's use it. And we can see here that here is sample ID 40,000, the first one. Here's the patient ID in the hospital that were imported. As you can see, we do have three aliquots stored, and here they are imported as we wanted them to be, A1, A2, A3. Okay, if we then go ahead and go to the next record, 4001, we can see 1, 2, and 3 again. Everything looks good. And then we go to the next record, which was 40,006. And we can see it's a 1 to 1 relationship and so forth. So the next one will be a 1 to 1. And, um, and, and as you can see here, we can go through that. We can see that all of these samples were imported. So I was able to import that whole box into that freezer. Now if I want to look at the aliquots, I can come here and look at these as well from this respect. And let's go ahead and take a look at our import using Explore Freezers. 
Let's go ahead and go into Demo Physical. Let's go to the top shelf, Rack A, and here is Box 2. It's no longer blank. We have a box, Box 2. And here they are, the samples that we just imported, the Buffy Coats. And that is how you would import a box using Interactive Auto Assign, importing in FreezeWorks. Thank you.